Hey guys, Steph, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all good. So in today's video, I am doing another full face of first impressions, only this time using just drugstore makeup. We've got a whole load of really affordable products here, everything from Revolution, L'Oreal, Technic, Barry M. Look at these eyeshadows from Barry M. They literally, they're like jigsaws and they clip together and it's satisfying and I'm intrigued. And so yeah, today I'm gonna to be chucking all of these products on my face and letting you guys know my thoughts as I always do. But before we do get into the video, I wanna let you guys know that this portion of the video is sponsored by Karma. So Karma is an app and Chrome extension that's sole purpose is to save you guys money. And when I say money, I'm not just talking like a little bit of spare change here and there. I'm talking, I did a cult beauty order a couple of weeks ago and because I have Karma installed, it saved me almost 40 pounds. I literally didn't do anything. It's just down to the fact that I had the Karma Chrome extension installed and it just, saved me almost 40 quids. Thank you. Now I know you're probably thinking, okay, Steph, like what's the catch? What's the fee? Do I have to pay a subscription? No, quite frankly, it is totally free and it takes like two clicks to download. So my personal favorite way to use Karma is just by using the Chrome extension app, which does give you the better deals. So if you guys do have access to a computer, I recommend doing that. So the way that Karma works is, say for example, there's a product that you really wanna get your hands on, but maybe it's out of stock, or maybe you're not necessarily in a rush to have it now and you're kind of waiting for a discount. All you basically have to do is save that product to one of your Karma lists. Like it can literally be anything. I have lists for makeup, I have them for clothing. So when you're saving your product to one of your Karma lists, you can basically select whether you want to be notified if there's a price drop or if something comes back in stock. And depending on what you choose, you can get either push notifications or email notifications, and they will literally just let you know whenever there's any kind of price drop, whenever something comes back in stock, whenever there's a relevant coupon codes. So I know that in itself already sounds pretty good, but it is about to get better because like I said, if you guys can, if you do have access to a computer, then make sure you download that Chrome extension because the Chrome extension is where it's at. Like if you wanna be lazy, if you don't even wanna save things to your lists or be organized, whatever, if you just wanna save some money, this is, it's so good. You could be shopping on Beauty Bay, Cult Beauty, Misguided, so many different websites. Karma works with so many different websites. And once you have it installed, you will literally never have to go on a hunt for a discount code ever again because it does it all for you. That's literally how I saved almost 40 pounds in that Cult Beauty order. Basically, you just go ahead, shop as normal, press checkout. And then when you go to checkout, you'll get a little pop-up from Karma and it'll say, hey, try out these discount codes and nine times out of 10, they will work. And then on top of all of that, Karma will actually give you cash back when you shop from certain retailers. So again, literally you'll just be buying the things you would have been buying anyway and you will get cash back from Karma. It is honestly such a game changer. I know I work with Karma quite often and there is a reason for that because as you can probably tell, I'm very passionate about it. I'm like, guys, if you just wanna save some money, just do it. Just try it, it doesn't cost you anything. If you don't like it, you can uninstall it, but like, you're gonna love it. You're gonna love it, I know you will. So unless you guys don't like saving money, like if you wanna spend more money than you need to, then that's totally cool. But if you do wanna save some money and quite a lot of it and get cash back, then make sure you check out that link down below and download Karma and the Chrome extension, cause that is a must for me. So yeah, big shout out to Karma for sponsoring that part of the video and for working with me quite regularly and for just saving me a whole load of money over the last few years. But enough of me rambling bling. Let's put some makeup on this face. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna go straight in with my brow. So today I'm gonna to be using a product from Revolution. I always get so many questions about why I don't use as many Revolution products anymore. And I do have my own personal reasons, but I did also have a few of their products lying around that I just thought I would chuck in this video. So this is the Laminate Brow, uh, brow stuff, basically. Like I'm guessing it's just a gel with a tint. So I got it in the shade Dark Brown and you have a pencil to go along with it. You probably won't be able to see from this far away, but it does look fairly warm toned. Realistically, I'm not gonna need to dabble with that too much, but the main thing I'm excited about is the clear brow gel. So let's try this out. Is it gonna be sticky? Like what What, are you, what have you got to offer me? So I'm just gonna try and do my huge and just kind of fluff my brows up a little bit. I wasn't sure if this was gonna be kind of like a soap brow situation or what, so let's see how this goes. Doesn't really seem like I'm getting much product from the wand. I'm having to go through quite a bit. I mean, this just, this kind of just seems like, kind of just seems like a normal clear brow gel. I've tried out a bunch of their brow gels before in the past and it just kind of seems like a regular clear brow gel. It's nice enough. 
don't get me wrong, it's giving me fairly fluffy brows and it's quite easy to apply and stuff. But I wouldn't really put it in the category of being like a laminate brow product, not like a soap brow kind of thing. It's, it's just like a slightly more tacky brow gel, to be honest. And you do have to make sure you kind of slick it down with your fingers, otherwise the brush doesn't pick the product up as much. Yeah, it's like a nice brow gel, but it, it's not really doing the whole laminate look, like a refi gel or like the ABH stuff or whatever. It's just a clear brow gel. It's a nice clear brow gel, but that's kind of all I'm getting from it. So now for primer, I'm gonna go in with this guy here from Rimmel. This is the Mattifying Primer. This was the only drugstore primer I actually had that I haven't used yet. Um, so we're just gonna roll with the fact that it's a matte one, you know. I've tried Rimmel primers in the past and I actually really, really like them. There's that one. It's in like a similar tube to this, but looks a bit different. There's like two of them. One has like a blue lid and one has a red lid. Maybe I'll try and like put pictures of them on screen now or something. But those primers are really, really good. So I, I am curious about this. Feels quite nice. It doesn't feel like silicone-y. It does just feel like a moisturizer. My brows have already defluffed. That seems pretty nice. I feel like it has actually mattified me down a little bit, but not in like a powdery sort of way. It has just kind of taken the shine down off of my forehead and stuff, but it still feels hydrating. So that's actually pretty good. Next, we're gonna move on to this guy here, which I was very, very kindly sent the other day from L'Oreal. It is the True Match Nude Plumping Tinted Serum. I'm not really expecting any coverage from this at all. I just wanna kinda of see how it looks, but I have it in the shade light and I'm very, very curious to see how this will look on my skin. Let's start on this side here. I'm expecting barely any coverage from this, which is why I also have a full coverage concealer so I can just mask my face. Yeah, let's see what this is like. Okay, that really did just, it's gone. <laughs> Where did it go? Okay, it's, it's just gone. Let's, I'm just gonna like, I'm actually gonna slather my face in it because I wanna see if we can actually see any difference here. This blends out into like nothingness. Is it just me or is that, even though it's like, it's got like no coverage, but it is fully evening everything out, right? I feel like that's done something, but I don't know how. Like that literally blended out into nothing, but it has, Oh, this might actually, this might be good. Okay, let's try it out on the macro. So I'm just gonna add a nice gloop there. And you can see I've got a little bit of scarring around here as well. So this is a good side to show it to you. Just buffing it in with my Lottie London brush. I swear it's doing something. I swear that's, don't get me wrong. You can still see everything, but it's just less but it still looks like my skin. It's like someone literally just put a filter on my face. Okay, let's go up here. I am so intrigued by this. This looks really, really good on my skin. Like this actually looks like I've just put moisturizer on my skin. Like it just, it disappears. And like it literally just blends out into nothingness, but smooths everything out. Like, what the hell is this? All I can hear in my head is Professor Quirrell going, what is this magic? It's been a while since I watched Harry Potter. Let me know what your favorite Harry Potter is in the comment section down below. Thank you so much. I feel like mine, I do like Chamber of Secrets, but I also like the Half-Blood Prince. I like them all. I can't choose, but you can. So let me know in the comments. That's mad. I really wasn't sure what I was gonna think of this. I wasn't sure it was gonna do anything, but I love this. It's like, I still want some more coverage. I wanna put concealer all over my face, but this is so, so nice just for like every day. If you've got perfect skin or if you just wanna add a little bit of coverage and then maybe do a little bit of spot concealing to cover up some blemishes. This is actually really freaking good. I don't know how it's covered up some stuff because it literally just, it seems so sheer and blends out into nothing. But yeah, I'm actually a little bit blown away by that. Like I wasn't really sure on what my response was gonna be, but I like that so much more than I thought I would. Like I actually am I'm kind of obsessed with it. So now that I've told you guys about how much I love this natural base, now we're gonna add a really full coverage concealer over the top. So this is from Maybelline. It's the Superstay Full Coverage Under Eye Concealer. So I have this in the shade Sand and I'm gonna use it on my under eyes, but I'm also just gonna put it wherever I need it. So let's go in with some of this. And I quite like the doe foot. It's like a nice little, little flat boy. So I'm gonna blend this out 
with my brush and see just how full coverage it is. Okay, it's covering up quite nicely. I wouldn't say it's a full coverage. I'd say it's probably medium, but you're also talking to the girl that I've, you could literally put five liters of concealer under my eyes and I would still go a bit more. I mean, it's it has got coverage. I wouldn't say it's full coverage. I would say it's more medium. It dries down quite quickly, so I feel like you need to move pretty fast. It looks really fresh though, especially with this base. Don't mind me while I just plaster the rest of my face with it. Try it with a larger brush. Okay, we're definitely gonna need a little bit of bronzer up in this bitch to kind of warm me up here, but I feel like that base actually looks really, really fresh. I really, really wouldn't say that this concealer is full coverage. I would say it's kind of even a stretch to say it's medium coverage just because it's not properly covering up my spots that well. And I only have a couple of small ones. So I'm just gonna go in with more layers there. I know in my e.l.f. video where I was saying that I wasn't keen on the base, you guys were like, we can't see it, we can't see it. So I'm gonna make sure I include like a really, really close up shot of how my skin is looking. Cause I've realized that I'm just so particular when it comes to bases, I think because you know, I've tried out some really, really good bases in my time. So like the, the bar's set kind of high. But yeah, so long as this powder's down nicely, I feel like it could be a really, really nice kind of everyday base. So now for powder, I'm gonna go in with another Revolution product that I've had for quite a while now, but I think you can still get it. This is from the I Heart Revolution uh, range and it is the Banana Scented Baking Powder. You all know I love banana scents. Oh, it just kind of smells very faintly of like banana Nesquik. So I'm gonna take a little bit of that and lightly set under my eyes. You all know the drill. And then just go around the rest of my face. Okay, the under eyes are looking pretty good. There's a little bit of texture showing above my brow. So I'm gonna try and make sure I show you guys properly here. Can you see that there? It's you know, you can only see these things if you're literally like right up close to my face. I don't know, maybe you can see that little bit of dryness there. Just something to note. And then I'm just gonna take some of that on a big fluffy brush and just set the rest of my base down. I'm not using too much powder at all because I still want it to look quite glowy. It smells kind of nice, just like banana. Every so often you just get like a waft. But yeah, as far as I can see, that looks pretty good. I'm quite happy with that. It's not too matte. It doesn't look chalky. It doesn't look overly powdery or anything like that. It's just, yeah, just kind of set everything down. So I'm actually pretty happy with that. And it smells real good. I barely used any of that as well. So now for bronzer, I have this guy here also from Revolution. This is the Splendor Ultra Matte Blon Blon Blonzer. Ultra Matte Blonzer. I feel like I need to get like speech lessons or something. I'm having a day where I'm talking too quick, even for myself. So yeah, this is what it looks like. That is darker than what I thought it was gonna be. So that's the medium one. Yeah, that's that's a lot darker than I thought it was gonna be, but it's okay. Is it okay? I'm not, I don't know if it is. Okay. We're gonna take a very light hand of that. Uh, it's quite deep and quite warm, like quite ready tone. So we'll just see. It's a nice big compact though. So I'm gonna take this brush here and you can see like, I don't know if you'll be able to necessarily tell on this brush, but I am tapping and there's a lot of kickback, which normally means these products are gonna be very, very pigmented. So I'm gonna make sure I use a really, really light hand and just start to bronze up this part of my face here. Something's happening and I don't know what, what it is yet. <laughs> Good chat stuff. I feel like for me, this is definitely more of a, okay, this is definitely very, very red. Very red. I feel like this just looks really intense. I don't know with this. I think it's the color that's throwing me off. Like the product seems quite nice. I feel like it's making my base look a lot drier than it was before. Does that look too warm or does that look all right? Cause I keep looking at it like sometimes I'm like, mm, I don't know. And then I don't know, can you, can I like take like a step back for a minute? Can you guys tell me what you think? Can you do the review for me quickly? Is it too warm? Cause like I've got another bronzer here. This is just from Technic. See, I really like the color of this bronzer in comparison. If I show you the two next to each other, they're both the medium shade, but you can see this one's a lot darker and a lot more ready tone but I'll take a tiny bit of that as well, just to see if you can, 
Can you tell? I feel like it's just, I feel like this color just works a lot better on me. So that might be my bad getting the wrong color, but yeah. Let me know what you think. I'm just gonna bronze my face up a tiny bit more with this stuff, just cause if I do it too much with the Revolution one, my face might actually be a bit red. So I'm just gonna deepen up my face a touch. But yeah, let me know what you think. Cause I don't really know. I feel like it's okay, but I'm usually quite easy to please when it comes to bronzers. So um, it's throwing me off a little bit knowing that I don't know. <laughs> So next, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of liquid highlighter. I don't know if you noticed, but I made sure not to powder down the tops of my cheeks too much for this guy here. So this is from Essence and it's the Glow Glow Go Instant Highlighter. It says dewy finish in seconds. So hopefully this will work on top. I think I might have to be quite quick with blending it out. So I'm gonna take a tiny little bit of that and just blend it out straight away with my fingers. I tend to prefer using my fingers for this sort of thing because I feel like you can actually feel how the product is working on the skin. So you kind of know whether you should, you know, take a step back, stop blending. I mean, that's actually quite pretty. It doesn't work as well on a matte base, but the result is actually quite nice, to be honest. It's not so much like a metallic highlighter or something super glowy. It does just kind of give you a nice little sheen. And if anything, I feel like it's actually smoothed out my cheekbone there. I'm gonna do a bit on the Cupid's bow. Let's see how it looks on there. I love how when I say Cupid's bow, I basically just cover my entire top lip in highlighter. Okay, that doesn't look like anything, but that's, yeah, that's all right. This was super cheap as well. I think it was like three pounds and I would definitely use that with this, like without as much powder, without the more matte concealer, just this, little bit of this, and then just like some fake freckles or something. That would be my sort of everyday look. But yeah, that's not that bad. It's not like an iconic London sort of super intense highlighter drop. It's just something a lot more subtle, but it actually works pretty well. So now for my highlighter, I have this little duo here from e.l.f. So we have a blusher and then this highlighter here. Ooh, you look nice. Look at that. That looks, yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, so I'm gonna take a touch of this. This, by the way, is in the shade White Peach and it's picking up a lot of product. So let's see how this looks on top of that essence stuff. Ooh, ooh, that looks bloody handsome. Handsome, Cornish word, A-N-S-U-M. Uh, similar to handsome, just means nice. Your love, your highlighter, that is handsome. That's actually so nice, which I'm glad about because I feel like I was a little bit harsh on my testing elf video, but you know, maybe it was just the wrong day for makeup for me or the wrong combination or whatever. So I'm very, very happy that I'm liking this a lot. This is the kind of energy I was wanting elf to bring with the other testing video. That's so nice. That is so nice. I am so happy with this. Then I'm gonna go back in with that bronzer brush that I was using and take some of that blusher there and just connect the two on my cheeks. Hopefully this will kind of give me a bit of a lift. Just need a little bit of warmth back in my face that's not red. I really love this little duo. It's quite subtle, the blusher, but the highlighter is intense and I am, oh, I'm very, very happy with that highlighter. Oh, that looks so good. Next up, we have another e.l.f. product. I feel like there's a lot of e.l.f. and Revolution today, but this is the Stay All Night Micro Fine Setting Mist up to 16 hour wear. And it's, there we go. Smells good. It's got a nice fine little mist as well. Ooh, anyone else just find setting their face so satisfying? I'm like, yes. Ice bucket challenge. Okay, I am pretty happy with this so far. I would like a bit more coverage on a couple of the spots that I have, but everything else, I'm like, if you just like take them away, I feel like this looks really, really nice. So next we're gonna move on to eyes. And like I said, I have these guys here from Barry M. So they sent over, I'm guessing like the whole, is this a palette? I guess it kind of is, but you literally like stick everything together. Like you want these two shades together? There you go. Got your own little palette sorted. And I don't know how I feel about the packaging in terms of practicality. Like, would I realistically take this away with me? I mean, I would, so I answered my own question there. What I'm trying to say is that it's not necessarily the most practical looking, cause like you have to open up 
all the individual eyeshadow pans themselves, but I do, I do kind of like the idea behind it. Especially if you don't really tend to wear that much eyeshadow, like if you literally only wear a couple of shades and that's it, then you probably don't really need a full palette. So you could just have like three of these or a couple of these or whatever. But yeah, I am very, very intrigued by these. I haven't used Barry M eyeshadows in a hot minute, but like these blues here are kind of taking my fancy. This nice lilac shade here. And they've got everything from like neutrals, slightly more warmer tones. You've got nudes, you've got more pastel colors. Today I'm gonna to be using this Barry M primer underneath. So this is called the Lidlock Eyeshadow Primer. Do I need to take the, I'm so, I'm so confused. Why am I so easily confused? Is anything coming out? Nothing's like, why is this like, I'm massaging it, coming out to play. Am I, I'm probably gonna get this like all over my carpet. Okay, maybe I'm not using this stuff today then. Cause this is literally applied to bare lids before I make, I can't know, I can't even get it out the tube. I can see it, it's just, it's like turned into Play-Doh and it's not coming out. Yeah, that ain't happening. Okay, well, we'll do P. Louise instead. So I'm gonna take some of my base and just slap that all over my lid. I think I'm gonna go in with the shade Intrigued first. That's like this nice lilac-y sort of color there. Okay, that actually doesn't look half bad. I mean, it's it's very, very sheer because it is quite, you know, a pastel color. But let's see how it looks with the wet base. I'm just gonna sketch that into my crease here. That's actually not half bad, you know. That looks way better on my lid than it did as a swatch. Also, shout out to P. Louise for sending over these brushes. This is like the teeniest, tiniest Little blending brush. So far so good with that, you know. That's actually way better than I thought it was gonna be. We then have this shade called Luster, which was that nice kind of baby blue. And look, I can show you properly now. So you can slide them in, technical difficulties, can you? It was awkward, talking amongst yourselves. Does that go in there? Yeah, it does, okay. So you can do them side by side, or you can stack them on top. How easy is it to open them up? Oh, it's not too much of a faff. I don't, I still don't know if I would like realistically use something like that. If it was a couple of them, then yeah, no worries. But like, as a whole palette, I, I would personally get really impatient with having to open up all the little doors. So I'm gonna take some of this shade here just on a flat brush. And this shade, by the way, is called Luster. Let's see what it looks like. Again, similar sort of swatch as the lilac one. But I'm just gonna go ahead and pat that all over the lid. Oh, oh, well that just kind of showed up out of nowhere. Fair enough, actually, that is better than I thought it was gonna be. I suppose it's actually quite similar to how it looks in the pan, which is actually quite nice. These eyeshadows are actually not too bad, to be honest. They're a little bit dusty, so make sure you don't have too much like excess product on your brush, because you might get fallout. A little remix then. Yeah, I'm actually, I'm actually fairly impressed with these. I'm just gonna blend that blue and that purple together a bit more. It's not that I'm like crazy blown away by the quality, but I think because it's such like a gimmicky sort of thing, I wasn't really expecting them to be that good, especially considering they're like pastel colors, but they're actually better than I thought they were gonna be. I don't know if that's a compliment. I don't know if it's not because I'm kind of saying like, I thought you were gonna be a bit crap, but actually you're not, well done. It's actually all right to be honest. So now I'm gonna go in with the shade Sultry, which is this one here. It's got a little bit of shimmer to it, but it's also got a bit of warmth to it. So I'm just gonna try and blend that into the outer corner a touch. One thing I will say is the colors blend away so, so quickly. So you'll probably need to pack quite a lot on to get this sort of color. I'm gonna try this shade here, which is just like a champagne-y kind of silvery sort of color almost. It's called Stranger. And I'm gonna take this little fan brush and just fit that right under my brow here. It's got a little bit of sheen there. I think I'm giving these eyeshadows a benefit of the doubt for the fact that they're kind of fun, kind of quirky. I'm like, oh, this shouldn't be as good as they are. But if these were just in like a standard palette, if it wasn't like this sort of fun stuff, then I probably wouldn't be 
paying much attention to these eyeshadows. They're like, they're fine. They're not doing anything overly bad, but they're not. Like the eyeshadows are fine, but I, I think it literally, like the main selling point is the fact that you can do this. And that's kind of the selling point, to be honest. Uh, it's just a little bit of fun, but like the eyeshadows themselves, not bad, but not, not that good. <laughs> I'm gonna take a little bit more of the Stranger shade and pop that on my inner corner. Yeah, they're just a bit, they do the job, they're just a little bit dusty. That looks quite nice in the inner corner though. Yeah, that looks quite nice in the inner corner, okay. So now for liner, I have another product from Barry M. This is from the High Viz collection, which I tried out a few videos back now, a couple of weeks ago, but I didn't get a chance to try out the liquid eyeliner and it's in this really, really blight, blight bruise, blip, blip, skitty get bap bap. It's blue, it's a blue liner, so I'm gonna, I might do like a little graphic situation actually, I might, because I feel like the more I look at this eye, it's like, I swear it's getting duller and duller the more I look at it. So I might actually even go, ee, ee. good explanation there. Okay, talk amongst yourselves. Ooh, I like that. I instantly like that way more than the eyeshadows. Star Trek vibes, I like it. I already prefer that so much more now. That liner actually applied so well. As long as this doesn't crack on me, that has actually done a really, really good job. Really, really pigmented and the brush, it's kind of like a felt tip. So it's got a little bit of wiggle to it, but it's not gonna be like wiggling around the place. Yeah, I quite like that. Nice color, nice and precise. I might have to get more of these. So now for mascara, I have this one here from e.l.f. It's the three-in-one mascara, and if I remember correctly, it has like, yeah, it's got a little bobbly bit on the end. I've heard absolutely nothing about this mascara. So let's just see what it's like. It says it lengthens, defines, and volumizes lashes. I would say it lengthens. It's not really giving me like, it's not really bulking out my lashes too much. <laughs> Just uh, crickets. It's doing a little bit. It's like giving me a tiny bit more length, but it's just kind of coating my lashes in black, which is literally like the whole point of mascara, but it's not, it's not really doing much else. It's not really making my lashes look much thicker, much longer. I feel like I don't want to say too many bad things about this because I feel like I just fully slated Elf in one of my previous videos, but I don't really, I don't really get it. Like I, it says three in one, but I don't even really see one, let alone three things. Yeah, this ain't, this ain't that good really. Yeah, like I'm doing a couple of layers and it's, it's not really doing that much. So mm, no. I'm sorry, Elf. I'm sorry that I'm like hating on you so hard at the moment, but yeah, I'm not not really into that, not gonna lie. All right, guys, so now I'm gonna pop on some lashes. These here are the Technic LED Lux Foam Ink 3D Lashes, and they're like super fluffy. They look really, really nice. So you guys know the drill. I'm gonna pop off camera, pop on some lashes, do the other eye. I'm also gonna add a little bit of lip liner as well, just because I don't have anything new to show you guys, and then we'll do the lipstick, and that'll be kind of it. So see you in a sec. All right guys, so this is how we're looking at the moment and I, yeah, I don't like that mascara. I don't know if you'll be able to tell at all and I checked to see if it was just the lash glue but when I shut my eyes, the lash, like the mascara is still like sticky. And yeah, I thought it was just like me getting lash glue on my lower lash or something but it's literally the mascara sticking to itself. Like if I blink too much, why, can you see that there? Uh, just sticks to it. So the lashes are actually really, really nice, but I really, really struggled to get them on my eyeballs because the, the lashes were just sticking to the mascara, but like in the wrong way. So please don't get too close to my lashes because they look terrible. For my lips, I just added a bit of the Morphe Forecast Lip Liner, just something a little bit gray. And the lipstick that I'm gonna be using is this one from NYX in the shade Cali. It is one of the Shout Loud Satin Lipsticks and it's just like a kind of brownie nude. So let's see what that looks like. I wanted a cool tone lip, lip, lip liner. I wanted quite a cool tone lip liner, just to kind of even this out. Tastes good. I don't know if I should be tasting it, but it does taste good. It smells, oh God, 
Why does lipstick smell so good? That lipstick's pretty pigmented actually. That's really, really nice. Tap off a little bit of the excess. And it's it's been a while since I've done this. Where is it? Concealer. And just ombre the hell out of that. Oh yeah. Okay, I think that's kind of it. All right guys, so this is the finished look and I like it. I just feel like there's a few things that maybe could have made the look a bit better. Like for example, the lashes pretty much not even being stuck to my eyelids. Like the lashes are nice, it's just the mascara that is honestly every time I blink, it is driving me crazy. I feel like my brows uh, have like undone everything that I did to them. So I'm gonna put a little bit more of this um, Revolution Gel in. Like I, you saw me slick my brows down, but they just fell back down. Um, I don't know what it is. I just feel like this makeup doesn't look completely done. I actually really quite like this makeup, but I feel like there's just something about it. I feel like it's maybe the eyes and the eyebrows that just make it look, I don't know, like it's been warm for a little while. I feel like there's just not enough definition on my eyes kind of because of the mascara and the lashes like combined. I just kind of wish the eyeshadow was a bit more pigmented. I wish the mascara was a little bit just, just better in general. <laughs> There's definitely some products that I'm gonna be using a lot, like the freaking tinted serum stuff. I didn't think I would like this. Did any of us think I would like this? But I really, really do. I think this is so nice. I also really, really love this highlighter duo from e.l.f. Like the highlighter in particular from this little duo is so, so good. Like look how sheeny and shiny it is. So nice. I really, really like this Barry M liner as well. Like I said, I'm definitely gonna be picking up more of these because it was so easy. And I mean, I've had this on for a little while now and none of it's cracked, none of it's crumbled. So really big fan of that. I really, really like the high vis range. So I'd probably say those are my three favorites from this video and my three least favorites. I'm sorry. The mascara is a no from me. The Barry M eyeshadows. I'm really sorry, Barry M. I like the concept, I actually really, really do, but I feel like it's just not that usable and the eyeshadows, like, they're nothing to shout about. And then the laminate brow from Revolution. This, to be honest, is just a glorified clear brow gel and it's not even a very good one at that. Like, it didn't keep my brows in place. It didn't give me the laminate brow look. It didn't really do much, to be honest. Like, it's not, it doesn't even really keep them in place, so. Yeah, I don't know, I feel like they just kind of took a trending word and just slapped it on a clear brow gel with a pencil on the end of it and went, there you go, it's just, I don't know, it's it's not that good. But yeah guys, let me know what you think of this makeup look in the comment section down below. Let me know your thoughts on the products, how do you think they performed, do you kind of agree with me with some of the duds? Once again, a massive thank you to Karma for sponsoring this video. And if you guys do wanna save some money, which why would you not, then make sure you check the link out down below in my description box. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you don't wanna see more of me because I upload all the damn time. And also if you guys do wanna help me out, then do a little bit of engagement, like, comment, subscribe, share. I think that's all the things, notifications. And yeah, a massive thank you to all of you guys that are already doing that and trying to help me out. I see it, I appreciate it so much. I think it is slowly starting to work. So thank you for any like engagement that you guys do give me. It genuinely does help me out a lot. But yeah, anyway guys, I'm gonna go and head off and go and feed Michael and Pepe because they have been screaming at me for the past 20 minutes downstairs, so I'm gonna go and do that. But apart from that, that is it from me. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Oh, I'm just slapping my reflector all over the place. Bye. <laughs>